Okay, so welcome back to another Construct 2 tutorial. Today I've got a kind of like block creating and destroying mechanism. Now, the thing is with this is it's not actually what you may think it is. And by that I mean it, it, it you can just pretty much click anywhere and it'll do it. So, I'm going to show you now. So, as you can see, it, you can click anywhere, which means you can overlap them and everything. Now, in a, in another tutorial, I'll show you a different, like, better way of doing it. But for now, some people just might want to um, want this. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, pretty much, you've got two options in this tutorial. You've got the grass, and you've got the stone. Um, and when you right-click on them it gives you different particles and it gets rid of them pretty much so it's pretty simple and I'll show you how to do it now so you're going to need two images uh, one of the one block and the other of the other of the other block or however many blocks as you want and you're going to need remember blocks you have the particles for them as well so for these I just pretty much I, I spawned in the image, shortened it to 16 by 16 and just made a ring out of it, which is pretty fun. Um, this is actually 8 by 8 and not 16 by 16, but you know, this one's 16 by 16. So these are automatically scaled down to 8 anyways, so that they're small um, images, which is pretty good. And they're also one shot so that it goes out into an explosion. So, that's pretty much how you do that. So you create the particle by going into this, going to particle, put something random in there. Like this. Quit out of it. Scale it down in here. I'm just going to scale it down here for Oh, that actually didn't do anything, but that's fine. You want to change continuous spray to one shot, and the spray count to 360, and the rate you can change yourself, and also the speed as well. So the speed I'm going to shorten down to 50. So as you can see, there's a little explosion there. So that's pretty much that. Easy as anything. On these, you can also put the behavior destroy outside layout. And what this basically means is once they've been created, it'll delete them because they're outside of the layout, which will save up quite a lot of memory. There we go. Right, so we'll get into the script now. Okay, so you first want to start off by creating two global variables one called grass, the other called stone. You want one of them be set to one, for me it's going to be grass, and I'm going to put grass above stone, considering that's the default selected. And then you're going to want your mouse and you're going to want unclick left clicked and you're going to want that again so just copy and paste you want a condition just do that by pressing C once you've got it um, selected system compare variable uh, stone no grass equal to one so if it's equal to one then do that one if it's not equal to one then don't do it if stone is equal to one, do this one instead. Then you're going to want keyboard on key pressed one and on key pressed two. You also want to have sub events, so just select it and press S. And the sub event is going to be system. Hold on, what was that? The system 
Uh, wait, what? Sub event. System compare variable grass. No, nope, we want stone. Oh no, yeah, we do want grass. We want grass. If it's equal to one, then we're going to set it equal to zero. So pretty much what's that, what that's telling it to do is, if two's pressed, check if it if grass is set to one. If it is, then set it to zero before it does anything. Pretty much. So system set value of stone to one. I want to do the exact same to this. In, no, not condition sub event. Uh, system compare variable of stone equal to one. If it is, set it to zero. And set grass to one. So that's that. So now we want um I think that's that's pretty much it. So we just need this now. We want on left button click, so this is the grass, add event, system uh it should say create object grass layer one x is equal to mouse dot x that's wrong where have I put that there we go and y is set to mouse dot y <laughs> click on done and do the exact same for this so copy and paste except put stone instead there we go so that's that done now we can have grass Where is it? Undestroyed. And we want stone. Undestroyed. And then we want grass. Spawn another object. Grass break. Layer 1. Same with this one. Stone. Spawn another object. Stone break. Layer 1 play as you can see this now works and when we destroy them oh we've not actually done that we need the right click so we've only done left click I knew I was missing something so let's create something different then click done delete that paste that and we want right click Oops. Bam. There we go. Oh no, we've done that wrong. That's the wrong event. Completely wrong event. We want mouse on object clicked. We want right clicked on grass. Mouse on object clicked. Right stone. Then we want grass to destroy, stone to destroy. Oops. Two. And then, as you can see, we can destroy them, and it picks up which one we're actually destroying, and it does that. So. That's a pretty simple tutorial for you. Um, you could actually go ahead and try something for yourself. So I'll set a challenge for you. Try and make like a GUI that tells you which block is selected. Um, if you don't know how to do that, then go ahead and contact me. Uh, you can send me a, probably a message on uh, YouTube. I think you can still do that. I'm not sure. Um, if not, just go on Google Plus and send me on there. I'm sure it'll send me an email somehow. So, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has helped you. Uh, don't forget, I will be uploading a better way of doing this 
uh, probably next tutorial. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.